Hello everybody, welcome to one of my videos. As you can see by the screen, we are playing Bruce Lee 2. It's a great game, it came out in 2013. Now I do actually own the original Bruce Lee on cassette, which was released in 1984, and I was two years old when that came out. I've played it lots of times and completed it lots of times in my life. Now this game I, I have actually completed on a stream, but I've been trying to do a long play of it for quite some time. The reason why it's taken so long is because the last time I did this, I had a problem. I was recording it as a long play, and I lasted about 15 minutes, and my C64 mini joystick snapped. I wasn't too impressed, considering I've owned it for an, a month and a half, I wasn't expecting a joystick to snap, but it did. If I've got the footage on my laptop, I'll put it on the end of this video, but I can't guarantee that. But hopefully it is there. But anyway, hopefully today I can finally finish this long play. I'm doing it on the original difficulty and I'm not using Infinite Lives, but it is a great game and hopefully I can do it today. But anyway, this is Jamie from Orgasus Games, Bruce Lee 2, let's go. Okay, Bruce Lee 2 on the C64. It's a great game. You start off with five lives. But in this game, they don't call them lives, they call them falls, but you can get a lot more extra lives along the way. Now this game is very, very similar to the first one, but does have a few changes. And one thing you'll notice is the falling. It is a lot faster, which was definitely an issue in the first game, but then it is a very, very old game. And this game does have quite a few pixel perfect jumps. And there is another thing that is different. In this one, Bruce Lee can swim. But being the legend that he is, he does need air to breathe. So you don't keep him underwater for too long because he will die. You'll know if he's about to die because he turns red. So if he turns red, get some air. Now like the first game, um, you have to go around collecting these lanterns which are scattered throughout the levels. They open doors and secret areas and even ladders. But avoid the bad stuff. Avoid the lasers. So climb up the vines, and that does move a lot more smoothly. Quite a lot of it actually does move a lot more smoothly, and you'll notice his jumping up is a lot higher as well. So keep collecting the lanterns. Now the door at the top has opened up, so you need to climb up there again to climb up the vines. Collect the lantern at the top left, and then head left. Now this, this game does have enemies as well. Some are new. But like the first game, there's no time limit, and there's no score in this one either. There was a score in the first game. Why there isn't on this one, I'm not sure. And it takes one hit to kill you. Another thing that is different is the ducking. When you duck in the first game, he lays flat. On this one, he crouches. Right, yin yangs are extra life, so now we have six lives. Grab the lever and that ladder appears above you. And watch out for the spikes, grab the lanterns and fall down. Now one of the things I don't like about this game, and it only appears sometimes, but in between some of the screens you do get this horrible brown and yellow screen. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not, but I'll try and edit it out if I can do it. That way the video moves a bit more smoothly. Okay, so climb up that ladder which you just activated and jump into the tree. Now this game does have a lot of pixel perfect jumps, you've got to get it absolutely perfect. Especially, a lot, especially later on in the game, there are some really, really challenging ones. So now we've got to hit that lever. So climb up. You've got a choice of routes, you can either go down there first, or go at the right first. Now that door has opened, but we need to lower the drawbridge. And 
There we go. So head that way now. Climb up. Now this is a, a, a video I've been wanting to do for quite some time. I did start recording it a, about a month or a half ago, but I had a problem. I was using the C64 mini joystick. I was playing for about 10 minutes, I did a simple jump, and the joystick snapped. I couldn't believe it. If I've still got that footage on my laptop, I might put that on the end of this, this video. But I've never had a joystick snap on me like that, but then I didn't realise the quality on these joysticks were like that. But the one I'm using now is a lot better. Okay, so watch out for the lasers, clip the lanterns, open up the doors. Some of these jumps over these lasers, again, you've got to get it very, very perfect because sometimes your trailing foot can kill you if it gets hit by the lasers. And here is another enemy. I think these are uh, enemies that have appeared in uh, some of his movies, but they're not really much of a threat. You don't get points for them. When you kill them, they do respawn. But you don't have to kill them. Sometimes they'll just beat each other up. If that's what you want to do, let them do it. It makes your life easier. Which is what they're doing now. They're beating each other up. Well, I thought they were. I think one of them is actually on the other side of the screen. Okay, there are enough, there's four more lives at the top there. Grab that, and that will increase our lives by four more. This game is very, very generous with lives. So there we go, we've got ten. There we go, grab the lever and that trap door opens below, which takes us into the chambers. Which looks brilliant. Very, very similar to the first game. Right, now spikes are on the ceiling, so don't spike yourself on those spikes. Because his jumping up is a lot higher this time than the first game. So as you can see, they are beating each other up. Leave them to it. Okay, now we have another lever, and down the bottom we have those spike-like platforms which just do appear in the first game. And that is actually a very, very difficult part to do. I actually have done this as a stream, uh, and that did prove rather difficult. But hopefully I can do it today. I've wanted to do this video for quite some time. <clears throat> Now those enemies will follow you down there. And if you don't deal with them quickly, they'll punch you or kick you and you knock you onto those spikes. And that is an instant kill because it only takes one hit to kill you. And another thing that is different to this game, you can't land on them and squash them like you can on the first one. Okay, so climb up here and hit the lever. And now we've got a very, very difficult section. Which has taken quite a few lives on previous attempts. There we go. First time. Brilliant. Woohoo! These got enemies will keep following you. They'll they won't give up. Right, these speed up just like the first game. Okay, we have a special guest. This is Chuck Norris. A tough Chuck Norris is a very, very tough guy. He does some, some lethal kicks. Kill him, and the ladder appears. There's also a cat there, which I also collected, which also opens up other things. So 
collect these lanterns. And then go up, mine the spikes, grab these lanterns, and then go down the bottom. But the enemy don't climb on this one either. So there's quite a lot of differences. Okay, watch out for those lasers. Jump, jump and crouch, and climb. So some of the screens you need to just take your time, don't rush it because you will die. And watch out for that because that does speed up. So wait for it to slow down and then climb across. Okay, now the screen above this is a very, very, very challenging screen. Again, took a lot of lives when I did it on that stream. Two more lives. We have 13 now. Now this next bit is tough. Okay, collect the lanterns. Collect those two extra lives. We now have 15. Now the enemy will follow you. But they should get killed like that. Okay, this is by far the most difficult screen of this game. Very similar to another screen which is in the first Bruce Lee. But on Bruce Lee 1, the screen is blue and you're going down the screen. But this one, like the first game, you do have these sparks running along cone like surfaces. But this one is a lot more difficult because they go a lot faster. Now that stream that I did earlier in my channel, a lot of lives were lost, especially on that top level. But I have had a lot of practice. Hopefully I can do it, but there are two more lives at the end of it. There we go. 17. Okay, another difficult section. We've got to collect two lanterns at the top. And we have to jump onto this platform and run along it. Run along it and jump over that laser. Which does need perfect timing again. There we go. Right, now up here are some very, very difficult pixel perfect jumps. You've got to get these perfect. Collect these two lenses at the top. The lives I'm not going to bother because I can't seem to master those ones. So, 17 will do. So, carry on. Right, another difficult section. We've got four more lanterns to pick up, but this time you need to run along those platforms, but jump at the crucial points. There's not a lot of room for error here either. So run along it, keep with it, and jump and collect the lanterns. That went well. Same for this one. Going well. Okay, watch out for those guys. Chuck Norris is by far the strongest. He does have some lethal kicks. He's one tough dude. But they'll keep appearing. these lanterns and then get the two at the top. It's not a very long game this one but then saying that the first game isn't very long but like the f but that's another thing that's different between this one and the first game 
It doesn't continue on again, but harder. It's just one single playthrough. Because in the first game, it just keeps rolling over and over and over again, and each time it gets slightly more difficult. That's not the case in this one. Okay, run along the top. Not much more to go. That was close. Chuck Norris wins again. He always does. But it's no match for Bruce Lee. Right, nearly there. Collect that, ladder appears. Collect these two at the top, door opens on the top right. Okay. Not many screens left. We don't want to mess up now. Whoops. Alright. Wow, Chuck Norris lost that time. My word, that doesn't happen very often. He does climb a lot quicker in this game. Okay. Oh, that didn't go. That didn't go well. Do that again. There we go. It's so much nicer him having that fast drop. Was definitely an issue in the first one. Right, now we have some kind of moving platform, like a conveyor belt sort of thing. Which is quite comical seeing everyone running along it. Watch out you don't jump up to those spikes. So take it nice and s nice and easy. Don't rush it. Down here, they will follow, even though it might take a little bit of time. Now we are captured! Now the guy looks very much like Lo Pan. Now for those of you who don't know who Lo Pan is, he's uh, in uh, Big Trouble in Little China. Now we are now in a cage, there are three cages, but as you can see, in the third cage, the one on the far left, there is the green Yamu from the first game. So he does make an appearance. However, it is a short appearance. Grab the levers and the cages fall. When you run over those little platforms, those spikes will pop up into the air. So don't be trapped by those. But unfortunately, this is where he comes to an end. Now in doing that, that will create a path. Those cages fall to the ground and they create platforms. So it was actually quite an easy escape for Bruce Lee. And now we have an appearance for another previous guy. And that's this guy. Again, it's a very short appearance. But again, he wasn't really much of a threat. It was the Yamu that was the... The biggest threat in the first game. And this one, the biggest threat is Chuck Norris. So you collect all the lanterns, then grab that lever down the bottom and that opens up that door at the top right. Poor little guy. So grab that and it goes up. It's like a Prince of Persia sort of door. Now once you let go of this lever, that door will start to close. You've got to get up there quickly. But don't jump on don't jump too late and jump onto that spike. Okay. Now this is where we got captured. 
Okay, this is another difficult screen. This one, again, has a very evil pixel-perfect jump, which has killed me a lot of times. But I've had a lot of practice to try and get good at it. And it's this one. This is the difficult one. You've got to get that perfect. And this one as well. Jump down there. The ladder appears. And then make sure you go into the middle of the ladder. Okay, run along these. Wait for the spikes to go down. And then run back. Grab the two there. And go up. We are very nearly there. Very nearly there. I think this is the second to last screen. Come on, Jamie, you can do this. We can do this. Bruce Lee can do this. We can do this. That was close. Right, this is where Lo Pan is. I don't know what his actual name is, but I'm going to go with Lo Pan because he does look like Lo Pan. And here he is. Now he throws a high shot and a low shot. So good timing is needed. Grab the lanterns and he falls to his death. There we go. We have done it. We have done it. Woo Great stuff. Congratulations! Woohoo! Victory is mine! At last! Woohoo! Great stuff! This was a game I've wanted to do as a video for a very, very long time, but like I said earlier in the video, uh, my joystick snaps. I mean, I only owned that joystick for a month and a half, and I couldn't believe it actually snapped. So I wasn't particularly impressed about that, because I was actually recording the video at the time. Uh, and my friend Anthony from Right Retro Gaming, he actually made me this joystick. He actually made it with the parts from the Snap one and used um, a Competition Pro joystick and actually merged them both together. So he's done an awesome job. So this is a lot stronger and a lot better than that one I had. Uh, so finally I've done it! This is quite a long video to do in terms of what happened on that previous recording. But there we go! The joystick is brilliant! This game is brilliant, and I've finally done it for a long play. So I hope you enjoyed it. My name's Jamie, this is More Than Just Games. Please like, please comment, please share. And please do subscribe to my channel. I do have a Facebook fan page, and I'm also on Instagram, and I'm also on Twitch. Just type in More Than Just Games, and you should find it fairly easily. And I do streams every Friday night at 8 o'clock UK time. So until then, I'll see you next time. If I have got that footage of that joystick breaking, I'll put it on here. If I've got it, I can't guarantee it. Until next time, take it easy, and please do let me know any games you want me to play, and I'll see what I can do. So, take it easy, guys. Ciao, bye. See ya. And also, you have to jump onto that platform, but what makes it even more difficult is the enemy follows you down there, and you have to try and make that jump while avoiding getting beaten up by those enemies. So, the ladder has appeared. Hit the lever, or grab the lever, and then we head down to the bottom. Try and do this quickly before those people arrive. Oh, well, that's just... my joysticks are snapped. How bad is that? My joystick has just snapped. How bad is that?